morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Good morning, sir. We are moving on to multiplication of decimals, and it's actually the easiest thing in this topic. You don't have to worry about including decimals in the question, so it's very easy. What we do is we ignore the decimal points to begin with. We set up our question like for a normal multiplication, and then we count how many decimal places were in the question. The answer will have the same number of decimal places. Does that make sense? Yeah. It'll be clearer when we do the questions. So first, I'm going to ignore the decimal point. So I'm going to find out 3,227 times 8. And we've all done that before. Yeah. So I'm going to multiply. 8 times 7 is? 56. 56. 5 goes here. 8 times 2? 16. 16. Plus 5? 21. 21. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2? 18. 18. 8 times 2 is 16, 16 plus 2 is? 18. Thank you. 8 threes are 24, plus the 1? 25. 25. Now, the answer will be, if you write that, let's count the number of decimal places in the question. 1, 2, 3. Yes, yes. you'll have the same number of decimal places in the answer. So counting from the right, one, two, three. That means you put the decimal here. That's all there is. So if you can do normal multiplication, which you all should be able to, there's nothing difficult about multiplying decimals. Does that make sense now? Yeah. Right. Next one. Now, both of these are decimals. Does not change our working out in any way, shape or form. Let's write that. 1, 3, 2, 6, 7. Have I ignored the decimal? Yes. Times by 12. I've ignored the decimal, haven't I? Let's time. So do we time with 1 first or 2? Two? 2. Well done. Units did it first. 2 times 7? 2 times 6? Plus 1? 2 times 2? Plus 1? 2 times 3? 2 times 1? Now, what do we put here? Now we're multiplying by 10, not 1. Zero. A zero. Yep, well done. Put a 0 here, and these get crossed. 1 times 7? 1 times 6? 1 times 2? 1 times 3? 1 times 1? And now we add. 4? 7 plus 3? 6 plus 6? That's 9. 5 and 1. We're good with that, aren't we? Yes. Now, we count the total number of decimal places with both of these. So this one had 1, 2, 3 decimal places and this one has 1. So what's the total? 4. 4. So how many decimal places will the answer have? 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. The answer will have 4 decimal places. So I'll write 1, 5, 9, 2 or 4. So counting from the first digit, 1, 2, 3, 4. The answer is 15.9204. Easy? Yes. Now, how about 0 0.0003 by 5? So if I ignore the decimals, I get <coughs> 0, 0, 0, 0, 0003 times 5. Don't I? I've just gotten rid of the decimal. Do I need all these zeros before 3? No. no. So doesn't it actually become 3 times 5? Yep. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So all these numbers, zeros before, are just confusing us. So write them if you want to, but then you can see that they don't matter anymore. At least for the time being. 3 times 5 is? 15. 15. Now, pens down. What's the total number of decimal places? 1, 2, 3, 4. So our answer should have four decimal places, right? So counting from here, one, two, but it only has two. What do I do? Put zeros. Put zeros. Because you need to have four digits after the decimal. You don't put zeros after, you put zeros before the one. Is that clear? Yes. So one, two. So to get more decimal places, you put two more zeros because you needed four decimal places. Does that make sense? We'll do another question like this. Okay, again, first ignore the decimals, so 0, 0, 0, 2 times 0, 7, which looks weird, we don't really need these, becomes 2 times 
which is 14. Let's count the total number of decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4. We need four decimal places in the answer. So 1, 2, how many zeros? 3, 4. Is that right? That's it. That's all you need to know for multiplying decimals. Get on with your work.